Ladies and gentlemen, as early as this morning, Tesla has announced huge changes for the Tesla Cybertruck. Yes, you heard that correct. We're talking about the size of the truck. We're talking about, you know, the top actual glass part. We're talking about the front trunk. We're talking about the bed. We're talking about all the updates that have been confirmed to be coming for the actual 2023-2024 Tesla Cybertrucks. Yes, you heard that correct. <laughs> Again, Ryan posted a report of his time at Investor Day on March 1st, specifically showcasing the things he learned about the Cybertruck. The event held at Tesla's Gigafactory in Austin, Texas, featured a big keynote presentation with a ton of news on upcoming company projects, but that wasn't the only info dump during the event. Our dude Matt was able to extract a plethora of new details about the upcoming Cybertruck release using his unique investigative method that apparently no other person or reporter in attendance was able to muster. Our guy just asked the Tesla staff questions and they were happy to answer with as much detail as they were allowed to reveal. It seems that Tesla is getting close to moving from their beta test models, the ones we've been catching peaks of over the last couple of months, to production candidates. Now we know based on comments made by Franz von Holzhausen in a recent Ride the Lightning podcast interview that was published back in January this year, that the Cybertruck design is basically finished. However, with all of Tesla's vehicles, even those that are in production right now, Tesla is constantly trying to make improvements and tweaks to those vehicles. So as Franz made very clear in this interview, there really isn't a totally pencils down time for Tesla when it comes to their vehicles. Near the beginning of the Twitter thread, Matthew echoed this and wrote, The vehicle on display at Investor Day is a Cybertruck pre-production beta, meaning if the truck was released today, it would be configured like this. Tesla is never pencils down, so I expect to see changes in the release candidates and later the production units. With that being said, Elon recently confirmed that the Cybertruck um, should go into production sometime this summer. And since that's only a few months away and production equipment is being installed as I speak, I don't anticipate any major changes to the vehicle between now and then. So th it's a good bet that we won't be seeing too many large scale changes after this point. That means we can finally dig into some solid data, more or less straight from the design team. And we might as well start with the frunk. The Cybertruck, like other Tesla vehicles, has a storage area in the nose, a front trunk, if you will. We knew that it was going to have one, but we weren't aware of exactly how it opened. From Matthew's video, you can tell there was a little bit of confusion on the day as well since he originally reported that the light bar would not be lifting with the frunk lid and it would operate very much like the Model X frunk does. However, the next day, Matthew made a correction via Twitter that the light bar and grill of the Cybertruck would lift similar to the way the Ford Lightning's front end does. The conversation about the frunk may have been brief, but it is the whole reason that the Cybertruck's bed is a whole six inches longer than the F-150 Raptor Super Crew, the popular four-door variant of Ford's best-selling pickup. Obviously, without the need for such a large nose to hold the Raptor's high-output V6 engine, the Cybertruck could afford a longer bed, so Cybertruck owners can look forward to a storage compartment in the front and a bed that will make pickup owners envious. One of the first big pieces of information that Matthew shared in this Twitter thread comes down to the dimensions of the Cybertruck. Tesla staff told Matthew that the latest pre-production Cybertruck is around 5% smaller than the original prototype that was revealed back in late 2019. However, the Cybertruck will be a full-size pickup truck, and as Matthew also confirmed, it should be very similarly sized to the Ford F-150 Raptor. Matthew tweeted out this chart comparing the F-150 Raptor with 35-inch tires to the Cybertruck with 35-inch tires. And as you can see, the dimensions here are actually quite close, but notice that the Cybertruck does have a longer bed than the Raptor. Now, when it comes to how these dimensions compare to other trucks, here's how these preliminary exterior dimensions of the Cybertruck compare to the Ford F-150 Lightning, the Rivian R1T, the Hummer EV truck, the Ford Raptor, and the Ram TRX. As you can see, the Cybertruck will be larger than the Rivian R1T and the Hummer EV, but once again, is very similarly sized to the Ford Raptor, the Ford Lightning, and the Ram TRX. When it comes to how the Cybertruck bed compares to these trucks, you can see that when it comes to the length of the bed with the tailgate up, the Cybertruck has an advantage over these competitors. Moving However, the truck is still wide enough to require amber lighting in the front and rear by law, and the design team confirm that the windshield light bar will 
will be a standard feature of the Cybertruck at launch. Matthew believes they will end up looking a lot like the Tesla Semi's lights, and that's a pretty solid bet. Tesla's been working to increase efficiency in their vehicles by using the same parts across multiple models, so this just seems like an easy instance to do that. Unfortunately, due to the downsizing of the vehicle, it looks like the Cybertruck won't be getting a six-seat option, a move which was likely driven by safety constraints as much as the smaller vehicle size. The sixth seat had been facing the touchscreen, which would make it harder to find a good airbag solution. The site does still advertise six seats, but the team on the floor at the event very bluntly confirmed that the Cybertruck will only be coming with five seats once production begins. Okay, moving on to a design choice by Tesla that not everyone likes. Um, is Tesla going to keep that big, huge wiper that we've seen in some pictures of the Cybertruck. Well, Matthew was able to talk directly to Franz von Holzhausen at the Investor Day event. And Matthew wrote, when I spoke with Woodhouse 2 at Tesla Investor Day, he told me directly that he was happy with the current iteration of the wiper, and that's what is going into production. Another important topic that Matthew included in this Twitter thread has to do with the variants that Tesla will offer of the Cybertruck. Originally, Tesla planned to offer three different versions, a rear-wheel drive version with a single motor, an all-wheel drive dual motor version, and an all-wheel drive tri-motor version. However, back in December of 2021, regarding the Cybertruck, Elon Musk tweeted, Initial production will be four motor variant with independent ultra-fast response torque control of each wheel. However, despite that Elon Musk tweet back in 2021, it appears like Tesla has changed their mind on this. And according to Matthew, there are only going to be two variants of the Cybertruck, a dual motor version and a performance version. However, based on comments that Matthew had with Tesla staff, it looks like this performance version will most likely be a tri-motor version like the Plaid Model S and Plaid Model X. It makes sense for Tesla to stick with a proven Model S X Plaid powertrain design and avoid any extra parts and engineering time, etc. In addition, I believe Tesla wants to maximize the range of the tri-motor version. Thus, I believe a tri-motor powertrain will be more efficient than a quad-motor powertrain and should allow for maximum efficiency and allow Tesla to hit the targeted EPA ranges that they're going for. And hopefully the tri-motor variant will indeed be able to reach an EPA range of around 500 miles. When it comes to- However, while taking a look at the seats, Matthew was able to get a couple of questions answered about the interior. It looks like the standard steering wheel will be an interesting combination of a normal wheel and that racing yoke that's been so popular in other Tesla models. It's rounded on the sides and flat on the top, but like with all the other details here, it's still subject to change before production. The display is one of the largest in Tesla's fleet at 18.5 inches, and there's a rear seat screen too for passengers. Designers confirmed that there's not going to be any gauge cluster, center display, or HUD for the Cybertruck, at least in the beginning. Moving to the exterior, we got confirmation about the tire packages that will be available at launch. According to floor staff, there will be both an all-terrain and a standard all-season package for the 18-inch tires, which are being custom-made by Goodyear, for those wondering. But those wheels are mounted on one of the most interesting parts of the Cybertruck, the air suspension. These are those big cylinders you can see behind the tires and can raise the truck higher to avoid obstacles while off-roading or lower it for more efficiency while highway driving. Industry veteran Sandy Monroe was on site and apparently commented that these were the biggest air suspension cylinders he's ever seen, which is impressive, but makes more sense when we hear that the designers tested the Cybertruck on Baja-style terrain. The Cybertruck should be able to off-road very well. When it comes to details about rear wheel steering or four wheel steering for the Cybertruck, in a tweet from July 2021, Elon revealed that Tesla was adding rear wheel steering to the Cybertruck so it can do tight turns and maneuver with high agility. When it comes to whether or not this will be a standard feature or something you'll have to pay extra for, Matthew did confirm in this Twitter thread that all Cybertruck variants will have four wheel steering. Now, of course, four wheel steering is a very useful feature for a very large truck like the Cybertruck, and it will allow it to have a much tighter turning radius. That's going to be good, of course. However, it's also going to be a feature that I believe Tesla will be able to have a little bit of fun with because, for instance, with the GMC Hummer, they have a feature called Crab Walk, which utilizes the four-wheel steering, which allows the Hummer EV to move in a more lateral type motion. I personally believe that the Tesla Cybertruck will have a very similar feature. 
The last thing that Matthew discussed with the team was pricing. He guesses that it's going to be somewhere near the same price as a fully loaded Model X, but the staff there told him that he shouldn't be so sure about that. And that raises a pretty interesting thought. With the Inflation Reduction Act looming over the market, Tesla has been making lots of price adjustments on their vehicles to keep them inside certain grant brackets. It's not out of the realm of possibility that they would price the Cybertruck so that the rebates given out through the IRA would knock it under the $80,000 range. But that's one question we didn't get a specific answer to, but luckily we won't have to wait too much longer to find out. Cybertruck is due to go into production in just a couple of months, and by then, we should know the price as well as the definitive numbers behind all these specs. Apparently also, according to Matthew, Tesla is planning to offer a number of accessories for the Cybertruck, and they actually have a separate team working on developing accessories for the truck. Matthew wrote, the accessories team is designing products for multiple customer personas, off-roading, camping, Baja Racing. Now, when it comes to the competition, Tesla actually now has the benefit of being able to benchmark the competition. Trucks like the GMC Hummer EV truck, the Rivian R1T, and the Ford F-150 Lightning. On this topic, Matthew wrote, I asked staff, considering trucks like the Rivian, Hummer EV, Lightning, and Raptor, what's one feature you wish was on the Cybertruck and received? Nothing. We've benchmarked all of those trucks. So while it would be great...